everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Tracy and I'm really excited to have you here it's the 1st of August and it's Sunday Facebook challenge time this week's theme is nature or trees and I've totally used that inspiration from the beauty of this earth or beauty of the earth designer series paper from the annual catalog it is gorgeous and I really haven't used it too much yet so I was completely inspired once I was going through that designer series paper pack so let me show you the card that we're making today it is a Z fold so it's a fun fold super cute and look at that designer series paper in the background you open it up and you have that little bear there he's from the count count on me stamp set so super cute when you open it up and I've got that evergreen forest embossing folder in the background that you probably can't see too well from here so let's get started <laughs> I think this Beauty of the Earth Design Series paper really does speak for itself and it really creates this gorgeous Z Fold card. So we're using the Count on Me for that bear and I'm also using the Majestic Mountain dies um, that have carried over to this annual catalogue. So I've got, there's two trees dies there, we're using both of those for this card. We're also using the um, Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder, which I'll show you in a minute. So the Merry Merlot main card piece is half a piece of A4. It is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And we're going to score it at four and one eighth, and then again at six and one eighth. Then we have a strip here, which is also Merry Merlot, five and seven eighths by two, and we're going to score at four and one eighth and six and one eighth. Now don't worry about those measurements, they are all over my blog, you can head over to my blog, there is a link in the description of this video for all those measurements. So here is this beautiful evergreen forest 3D embossing folder, it's so beautiful, it has so much texture. We're going to run that through the cut and emboss machine and I'm using my plate 4 because it's a real 3D embossing folder, absolutely gorgeous. So I've just ran that through. We have a piece of misty moonlight which i'm going to cut out two of those trees and i do have a little bit of trouble with these trees i'm pretty sure i've edited it out but um it's actually uh, when i'm pulling apart one of those dies it rips the cardstock so you can see i've got another one here i'm going to get that out and i edited it out but i'm telling you about it i did make a mistake so just be careful as you're pulling those dies out because they are super um, delicate there. There's also a whole heap of pieces that will come out. So we're going to fold and score on those score lines for that card base. Like I said this is a Z fold card. It's a really easy fun fold card to make. We have our strips of designer series paper which are going to just glue straight in. Um, now the measurements, let me see if I can find them. One and seven eighths by five and three quarters. And then again, the next one is four by five and three quarters. So it goes the whole length of the card. And I'm just using liquid, liquid glue here, the Tombow multi-purpose glue. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room, um, but it really has a great hold on your pieces as well. So we're also going to fold up that other piece of Merry Merlot. And I'm using my bone folder to get those nice crisp score lines. And then we're just going to place a little bit, of, I think I use tear and tape. You can use liquid adhesive, but use whatever you have. And this pops the whole card and creates that Z fold. So I'm thinking, will I use liquid glue? Will I use tear and tape? And I've gone with tear and tape. So I'm just going to place a couple of pieces down. You want something that's a fairly decent uh, adhesive. You don't want your card to fall apart as you give it to someone. And they are going to be pulling on it just slightly. So we have two of those beautiful trees and in that background there's some gorgeous colours. We've got a soft suede, Mary Merlot, Mary Merlot, Misty Moonlight, just absolutely beautiful colours, very autumn colours. So we have winter here right now, um, but yeah, I love autumn. It's my favourite season of the year. So I'm just getting rid of the rest of that tear and tape um, strip. And I'm actually going to place um, the card down while it's together. And then that way, um, when you're folding it back together, you know it's in the right position. Just makes it easier for you. So there we have it. We know that it's going to open and close and be perfect. 
So I have a piece of the basic white here and I believe I've used the, yes I have, the thick cardstock, the basic white thick. Because I'm using stamping blends it always pays to um, use the thick when you're using your stamping blends. It does bleed through but it just has that little bit of extra thickness to it. So I'm just stamping up part of that sentiment and I did try and just get the very edge of it but I'm going to bring a post-it note in. And that way I don't have any mishaps because it, I'm only using half of that um, sentiment. And it's a little tiny strip there of the basic white. So I'm here for you is the part of the sentiment that we're using for our sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to bring some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Because we are using stamping blends, you're going to want to make sure that you're using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. It is the only one to use. So I just want to let that dry a little bit. So um, we're going to place those trees down. And I'm just using liquid adhesive. I'm going to pop one at the front and then one on that back piece as well. And you'll see that it sort of hides the bear a little bit when it's closed. And then when you open up, you get that little, oh, there's a bear in front of the tree. So it's really cute. And this bear is gorgeous. Now that stamp set Count On Me has quite a few different critics and they are from all the countries that stamping up are in so everyone's covered there which is really great so I'm just gonna pop up that um, sentiment with some stamping dimensionals and pop that on that front piece really nice and easy I'm gonna glue that second tree down and then our piece should be pretty much dry with the memento so I'm just popping that down and I've popped glue on all of that one that's going on the back, but the one at the front, you just want a little bit of glue down the bottom. Okay, so we've got the colours here. I have Crumb Cake, Freeze a Little Nose. We're using the Light and Dark Soft Suede for the bear, and then Cherry Cobbler for um, the heart. I don't have, and I'm not even sure if Merry Mello is a stamping blend, but anyway, I don't have it, and Cherry Cobbler looks just as good anyway. So I'm just going in, I've created um, in the dark shadowy lines using the dark. I'm going back through with the light and just basic colouring. There is really not a lot to this um, colouring of the card. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more dark in with the dark. And I'm using, I believe it's the dark cherry cobbler for the heart. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick fussy cut and I've really sped this up because it's really boring to watch someone cut out something. Now one thing, because I have left that little bit of a white line around the bare image, you can go back through and use your basic black marker and just take away that whiteness if you want. It didn't really worry me, but I know for some people that um, they probably wouldn't like that at all. So we're just going to pop him down with a little bit more liquid glue. This is such a sweet and easy card and I hope that you'll give this one a go. You can change around your designer series paper to anything you like and create a little scene for yourself. Now if you live in Australia you can purchase any of the supplies I've used on today's card in my online store. There is clickable links below so you can check those ones out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. It is super cute and I hope you're inspired to come over and join in today's challenge or this week's challenge. If you're in need of any of the supplies that I've used on today's card, you can purchase them in my online store, either by using the clickable links in this video or over on my blog. If you're going over to my blog for all the information that's over there, please sign up for my emails as well. Um, this is where I send out weekly emails just about, just letting you know what's going on in my world with Stamping Up, what's going on with the Stamping Up world and all the specials and promotions that are going on as well. All right, everyone, I'll be back with another video for you soon. Um, you have till next Sunday to join in the challenge, so please do. It's a lot of fun. And, yeah, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.